Good afternoon. Thank you for coming. I'm Lieutenant David Valenta, Vs and Victor, A L E N T A. Me, Lieutenant with the Special Victim Section of the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. The reason we wanted to talk to you today was to follow up on our tragic incident we had last night, which resulted in the death of a uh, three year old male. Uh, in that instance, what we have found, what the investigation concluded, was that the 25 year old mother had a new recently purchased firearm. She was unfamiliar with the firearm, was showing it off to some friends in an inappropriate manner, inappropriate place out in public in a parking lot uh, with other people and with children, her own as well as other children right there in the near vicinity, uh, which is highly improper and uh, we, we is a high risk. Uh, during this, uh, she mishandled it, discharging the firearm which did go off striking her own three-year-old son, which did result in the death of that child. Uh, we wanted to conclude that and let everybody know what that investigation did surmise through all that. She has been arrested and booked for child abuse with substantial bodily harm resulting in death. And with that, we wanted to go and make sure the entire community, though, learned from this, took the message, the importance of this, because as I stated last night, we have had too many occurrences of this. Uh, we have had three other instances this year alone where people have died as a result of mishandling of firearms. We've had seven other individuals that have been injured as a result of mishandling of firearms. So two things I definitely want to stress to everybody is that owning a firearm, possessing a firearm is a huge responsibility for everybody. And it comes with two big things. A, the security of the firearm, you're responsible for securing that firearm. And it's more than putting it in a glove box, putting it in a drawer out of sight, putting it on a high shelf. I can tell you from the numerous cases I've been on, a teenager will find any nook and crowning in a house and there is no place that is considered hidden if it's not locked and secured. So we wanna make sure everybody's aware that the security of that firearm, being locked, being in a safe, uh, having a trigger guard is of the utmost importance. And second is the the knowledge, the handling of a firearm is paramount. We've had too many cases from everything from cleaning a firearm to target practice to children getting access and playing with guns they don't understand and adults such as last night that are just not familiar with the firearm, how to treat and respect the power of a firearm, thus resulting in accidental discharges. I've been on too many deaths, too many injured people and want everyone to hear that message and do everything they can. Uh, there's firearms classes you can go to to take to learn more about firearms, but it is just paramount that everybody realizes the ultimate responsibility of taking a firearm, owning a firearm, bringing a firearm into your house. Regardless of the age of anyone else in your family member, there is nothing more tragic than when I show up and have to talk to people about the loss or injury, substantial injury to another family member uh, that was preventable. And that is the biggest key takeaway is all of these we are going to, they are preventable. We end up from everything from the accidental discharges with injuries, uh, also goes right into the suicides. Uh, we've had a spike in teen suicides and out of the 11 we've had so far this year, uh, five of those have been the result of unsecured firearms right there in the home that a teenager has immediate easy access to and has taken their life. And then unfortunately, on top of this, already dealing with the family, talking to a family in what is one of the worst days of their life after a horrific, tragic accident, I'm then advising them, I'm conducting an actual police investigation, and we submit all of these gun cases to the DA's office. We have an ongoing partnership with the DA's office where we review all firearms cases are submitted for review, regardless of the circumstances, the intent, accidental, they're all reviewed. Just want to let that know that regardless of the tragedy that already occurred, there are additional consequences that come with the responsibility of proper gun ownership and handling. Thank you. Any questions? Oh, the mother from last night, uh, that is Jasmine Vargas. A press release with her uh, mugshot is being released. Her age. She was 25 years old. Was the firearm purchased legally? Yes, it was. You spoke about uh, having to name the, the victim. 
some after work. Uh, what goes through your mind in the hours um, after at, during the night? Um? Unfortunately, I can't really even speak on just the amount of skeletons uh, I've seen in my career. Uh, unfortunately, and it never gets any easier. Everyone is tragic, and it just takes a while to forget. It was a lawfully purchased firearm by her. Uh, that was perfectly legal, perfectly within her rights. She just did not understand the uh, paramount responsibility of gun ownership and the dangers. You see, you can spend five minutes on social media and you will find a dozen kids with pictures showing off firearms in their social media profiles. It is that lackadaisical perception that is resulting to many accidents and injuries and deaths uh, and then ultimately criminal investigations. Yeah, and I'm, we are in no way trying to infringe on anyone's Second Amendment right. We are just trying to stress the responsibility that comes with that. Like with every constitutional right, it cannot be taken lightly. There is a responsibility with that. Uh, that gun can take somebody's life, and it is very important to do everything you can. As stated, all of these I've dealt with this year were preventable. That is the message I want everyone to know. Preventable, and we would love to prevent them. Uh, fairly recent, within the month. Was there an incident last month involving a two-year-old and a six-year-old? Uh, on it? Uh, yes, unfortunately. Like I said, we've had numerous of these already in just this one year. And it was, I believe, Thanksgiving, where we did have another unsecured firearm where the person believed they had stashed it in a piece of furniture for a moment and then left the room, at which point... Um, we believe a two-year-old actually accessed that firearm, shooting and killing a six-year-old sibling. Who was the, was the dad, uh, the man, the father? Uh, no, he was not. Any timetable on when uh, charges will be filed against the, uh, the mother? The mother was booked last night on those charges for child abuse with substantial bodily harm, including death. Thank you.